cargo pumps fitted on board refrigerated gas tankers are normally of the centrifugal type, either deep well or submerged. The transfer pumps are installed in the ship's tanks. There is often also a booster pumps on LPG carriers. The in-tank cargo pumps can be operated alone or in series with a deck-mounted booster pump where cargo heating is required for discharge to pressurized storage. Some fully pressurized ships discharge by pressurizing tanks and using booster pumps to assist in transferring cargo ashore. Booster pumps are centrifugal pumps on the appropriate discharge line and can be deck-mounted, vertical, inline pumps driven by intrinsically safe electric motor or can be horizontal, installed on deck or in the cargo compressor room driven by an electric motor and the electric motor room. Fully submerged pumps are used on all LNG carriers and on many of the larger fully refrigerated LPG carriers. The pump assembly and electric motor are close coupled and installed at the bottom of the cargo tank. Power is supplied to the pump motor through copper or stainless steel sheathed cables passing through a gas tight seal in the tank dome and terminate in a flame-proof junction box. Submerged pumps and their motors are cooled and lubricated by the cargo and therefore susceptible to loss of flow rate damage. Deep well pumps are very common on LPG carriers. The pump is operated electrically or hydraulically by a flange-mounted motor outside the tank. The drive shaft is guided in carbon bearings inside the discharge tube, the bearings are cooled and lubricated by cargo flow up the discharge tube. The impeller assembly is at the bottom of the tank is either a two or a three stage impeller with a first stage inducer. A spray pump is a low capacity pump installed in some gas carriers. Function may vary but they are generally used for spray cooling tanks to reduce temperature sufficiently to allow loading to proceed. Can also be used for cooling lines or stripping lines before warm up. Spray pump used on some steam turbine LNG carriers to supply LNG to a forcing vaporizer to provide additional boiler gas fuel. Compressors are used as vapor pumps to either compress or move cargo vapor. Mechanically, some of the different types of compressor are piston compressors, double acting compressors, single acting compressors screw compressors and oil-free screw compressors. Compressors need to be protected against the possibility of liquid entering and seriously damaging the compressor. A compressor suction liquid separator is installed on the compressor suction line from the cargo tanks. The pot on this liquid separator is fitted with a high-level sensor which sets of an alarm and trips the compressor. The high-duty gas compressor fitted on board the ship is used to return the gas displaced during loading to shore during cargo loading. It is also used to circulate the containment system during warm-up. Peak demand will typically require the use of two compressors operating in parallel. The low-capacity compressor is used to transfer boil-off gas to the gas burning system in an LNG carrier. The boil-off gas compressor is a gas fuel compressor the primary function of which is to transfer boil-off gas to the cryogenic heat exchanger of an onboard reliquifaction plant. The electric motor room is fitted with double-door airlock for entry by personnel. The motor shaft is attached to the pump through the gas-tight bulkhead between the two rooms.